morning, Gorringes are on view yet again, this time for our sale Monday the 12th of August. And another interesting sale, lots of bits and pieces to show you. I'm looking at this Q stand here. It's funny that snooker tables are extremely hard to sell these days, but the accessories, the scoreboards and, and things like this Q stand, always seem to go well. I mean, it's in a modest estimate, 80 to 120, but um, they're to be bought, as we like to say. Interesting iron down there, like the handles. They're serpentine, aren't they? That's lot 952 in at 120 to 180. And again, garden furniture flying out the door at the moment. We've got benches here. Actually, we've got a weathered Luxon Styles bench here. That's lot 947. In with the table at 250 to 300. Otherwise, what else have I got to show you? Well, I'll come through this way. We don't usually go through here. Mel's here working early as usual. Come through this way. Denise is here on the telephone. And, and here's Murphy. I mean, he doesn't usually um, come into work. But he's here as special, uh, special, special guest. Special assistant today. So there we go. That's that. <laughs> just, just, we know you like the dogs. You like the dogs. You like the dogs. You keep another dog over here. Oh. There we go. Another dog over there. You have a look over there, Simon. There we go. Don't always get to see these dogs, but um, people like dogs, it seems. Right. So, on with the What else have we got here? This bench is rather eye catching, is it? French. Walnut, uh, like the um, sort of tapestry upholstery, kind of fun. Stick it in the hallway, I guess. Lot 917 in at 150 to 200. Then we have another selection of carpets and rugs. Good mixture. This one caught my eye, particularly finely done. Lot 921. Apparently it's an Indian carpet, and it's in at um, three to 500. But um, nicely made that. And, uh, it's not a silk one, but it's it's a very fine pile. So there we go. And there's all sorts of other carpets throughout the sale. And again, we've got a lot of pine this time. It's these great chunky pine dresser there. Showing to the left, someone's left their leg behind me. Weird things for people. They'll probably make that into a lamp or something now. But I've got 212, should you need it. Uh, we've got some sort of Urkel type, which is Urkel, and an Urkel table and chairs. Little funky leather, leather chair there. That's sort of got that sort of French 1940s look that is also popular. I like this over here. I'm going to pass those. So they're not period, but they're decorative. Lot 899. It's four-section bookcase in the sort of manner of Globe Vernick, and uh, with the uh, rising sliding doors like that. Nicely done. Leaded glass. Unusual to have the double door model. Uh, in at five to seven hundred pounds. So with two of these big display cabinets as well. If you want to display anything or set up your own shop, they're. Uh, they're in at two to three hundred. There's another one over that side. And then in the art, we've got some interesting paintings, not the least of which are these two by um, Ossery Dunlop. Here we are. This is an earlier work where he had this more sort of palette style here. And then a later work where he gets sort of looser. This is um, Trees at Goodwood. That was an RA exhibit. Uh, it's got 422 and at three to five hundred. And uh, the earlier work, more desirable in theory, so that's in at five to eight hundred. So we'll see how those get on. I would imagine quite well. Nice little Edwin Liddell print there, the pianist. Nice little lithograph there, signed and numbered, John Jack. Then in the smalls, well, Sabutio. If you had never had Sabutio and you wished you'd had, there we go. You could have it now, wouldn't you? There's lots of Sabutio there. Loads of teams, which I imagine are quite collectible, of varying ages. A uh, huge quantity. There we are. Six boxes full of Sabutio. So there we go. Um, why is that picture gone? Hmm. Why do you think that picture's oh, gone? With, so? That one's been withdrawn. It's been with, well, not this one, the one right, that the was there. So let's, yeah. let's move that up and then it'll look, it'll look nicer. There we go. So yeah, nice little painting there. We've got some hats. Uh, we've got booze as usual. We've got bears as usual. And we've got books as usual. It's all, it's all the bees today. Um, and otherwise, what else do we have? Well, metalware. Look, lots of copper flagons. Nice fireman's helmet there. Lot 149. Could be a French one, I'm thinking. Anyway, it's in at 150 to 200 pounds. Further down the line, I like that mask. A striking item, there we are, a Japanese. That is lot 173, it's in at 150 to 250. More bears, bit of silver plate. Very posh pair of uh, binoculars here. These are um, Leica. Apparently they sort of retail at about 800 pounds or more, so those are in at two to 300, lot 189. Down the end, corkscrews. Corkscrews and pens seem to be the, the story of today. I'm going around, Summer. You have a look there. So we've got a whole mixture of different types of corkscrews, sort of Thompson type and King's screw and 
various others, uh, boxes full of mixed lots of, of, of perhaps slightly less valuable but sort of still interesting groups. And then a run of pens as well, a lot of Mont Blanc um, pen sets, fountain pens, ballpoint pens, propelling pencil there in its box. Um, all in at sort of appealing estimates, one would hope. In the jewellery, uh, not a huge amount of jewellery, but lots of gold coins this time. So there's going to be uh, a lot of these proof sets of various types. Some are English, some are foreign. Uh, always popular. Gold, of course, very high at the moment, which pushes the price up even more. Uh, some mixed lots of watches. A little run of silver. Fair quantity there. Um, just a good sort of working lot. There's a nice little Chinese bowl. These are popular. The Chinese silver has gone up enormously like most Chinese things. That's lot 552. It's in at two to three hundred pounds. There's a few other watches in there. There's a few diamond rings. Not, as I say, not vast quantities of jewellery, but a sort of working amount. And then down the line here, well, decorative objects as ever. These sort of Dutch vases are kind of fun at 30 pounds. Lot two, that is, the golfer watercolour. Nice sort of... I suppose 1930s, something like that, look to it. Um, various other pictures scattered around. Flintlock musket here, there's an Indian one, it's in the 100 to 150, that's lot 52. Over the back, we've got some nice Val Saint Lambert glasses there, a set of those. We've got a bit of Ladro, painted centerpiece, look at that, that's quite a showy item. Bit of a crack in the glass, it's lot 49, it's in at 3 to 500, with its separate dishes showing next to it. Let's put them like that. And then again, some more paintings scattered about. Nice map of Sussex here, a good um, John Speed map um, in nice condition, glazed at the back with the English printing on the back. Um, that's in at two to three hundred, so sort of sensible estimate there. Um, what else can I find? More hats, there'll be a lot of hats this time. These look bizarre, where did these come from? Some sort of strange look mm. here. A little lot of garden ornaments there, lot 956, not quite so sure about those. And let's go and have a look finally in the main room, in the auction room itself. And uh, again, the usual mix, a nice collector's chest there. That's, this catches the eye as I go past, lot 800. What I like about this bookcase is, A, it looks like it probably did start life altogether. And it's, it's a nice sort of early 19th century as a Regency model, but it's, it's particularly shallow and that's a good feature. Carved feet are slightly curious, almost a sort of Anglo-Indian effect, but the rest of it is, is very much in the English manner. So there we go, it's all 800 in, two to 300 pounds. Barometers are still creeping in. We've had this whole run of barometers, and that's an unusual model, the Edney Fortin barometer, not 802, just in at 40 to 50 pounds, modest money. Um, but yes, this collector's chest, you know, in the past used for things like bird's eggs, which of course are illegal now, and, and um, otherwise, butterflies was the other thing, um, but um, still popular. I guess they're just useful, aren't they? Put lots of stuff in. So this is um, pine example, which has sort of been stained up. Um, it's quite a smart little thing. It's in with the one above. Now we've called it a Wellington chest. It's not a Wellington chest, strictly speaking, though this is arguable, like many things. A Wellington chest should have seven drawers. It's got a lot more, so it makes it a collector's chest. But apparently the original Wellington chest didn't have seven drawers, so there we go, that's, that's neither here nor there. And then this one has Paleolithic inscribed to the front of the drawers. It's a shame they sort of painted that out really, and once held fossilised corals it seems. So there we go, two together anyway, in at £100, sure they'll make more than that, I hope so. And uh, again, another barometer sneaking up here, this is like, a, it's an Admiral Fitzroy, but with the clock in the top, gives it a slight uh, lift. And the paper's in nice condition, so all the, all the inscriptions are right, and the chemical weather glass is in nice order, etc. That's about 811 and 80 to 120. There's all sorts of other things to see here. This nice little sort of Orkney chair, Charles Orkney chair, lot 855 and at 3 to 400. And then a whole host of other things where, wherever you'd like to sit. You could sit in the dining room, the, 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 the drawing room, the garden. We've got chairs for all occasions. Uh, we've got funky paintings over here. We've got this tunnel. Wilson 2002 oil. I had a look at his website actually, sort of based down in Cornwall. And it, one of the best things he did was a Morris Minor, which he painted with like flames for a surf shop. It was very cool. Anyway, that's in at uh, 100 to 150. Bit of fun, bit of modern contemporary art. So come along and see us. We are here on view today as ever and Saturday morning till 1. And the sale starts at 10 o'clock on Monday. Thank you.